Hey guys and welcome back to the Diving Squid YouTube channel. This is the first part of my 2D online multiplayer tutorials. These tutorials will be able to be completed completely for free and all the software you need is for free. In the end you'll end up with a game like Terraria or Among Us. I'm going to be using Photon Engine because it works well with Unity. The link to the website will be in the description. Personally I find Photon to be the best networking engine as it works well with Unity. It's also good for starting to make multiplayer games because it has a free plan which allows you to have 20 concurrent users. Now to start the video I'm going to sign into my Photon account. If you don't already have one then just hit create account. Once you're signed in you want to go to your applications and create a new application. You want to set the Photon type to Photon Pun as that is made for Unity. Name your application whatever you want, I'm just going to name mine Unity Photon Tutorial for the purpose of this video. You can enter a description and URL if you want, but I'm going to leave mine blank. Next, go into manage your application that you just made, and as you'll see, I'm using the free plan for this video because I want to show that this can be done entirely for free. Copy this app ID, but keep it secret, you don't want other people to know about it. And head into your new Unity scene. First of all, when you go into the new scene, you want to go to the Asset Store and select Window and Asset Store if you don't already have it open. When this pops up, you want to search for assets and search for the Photon asset. As you'll see, there are many different Photon assets. There's a paid version, but again, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use the free version. I've already got it downloaded, but you want to download yours and then import all the assets into your Unity project. Once they're imported, it'll ask you to enter your app ID. Copy this from your Photon account and paste it in here and hit enter. Next, clear all the RPCs in your scene because we won't be using them for this video. To start, you want to go to the hierarchy and select UI and then create an image. This will automatically create a canvas which you'll want to scale to screen size. Then go to your image and reset its position and then anchor it by holding shift and alt and select this to stretch it to the size of your screen. If you want to put your own image in this because this will be the background to your main menu then go ahead but I'm just going to give mine a red colour. Next, go back to the canvas and select UI and create a button this time. I'm going to play around with the font and background colour of the button, and this is how I want it. Now you want to change the text in your button to something like Join Game, and then you want to position your Join button somewhere on the main menu. Duplicate your Join button, but change the text on the second one to Create Game. This will be to create a new server instead of joining a current one. We're going to create another UI object in this canvas but this time it's going to be an input field. Again, you want to change the background and font. Once you're happy with how it looks, duplicate it again and move this to sit wherever you want on the menu screen, preferably next to the join and create game buttons. I'm going to change all the names of my buttons and input fields just so it makes more sense in the hierarchy. And then we're going to go back to our main canvas and create a canvas within this. This is going to hold our username menu. If you don't want your game to have usernames, then skip ahead in the video. Inside this new canvas, we're going to create an image. This will be the background to our username menu. Scale the image to the size you want. You can cover the whole screen if you'd like, but I'm just going to make mine hover in the middle of the screen. Once you're happy with the layout and colour and background of your panel, we can start actually designing the UI for the username panel. So I'm going to duplicate our join button and drag it under our new canvas but I'm actually going to remove the button component because I don't want the player to be able to click it. Change the text to title your username panel to something like username and then duplicate an input field and drag it under the canvas. This is going to be where a player is going to enter their desired username. Position this wherever you'd, li you'd like on the username menu and then we're going to duplicate the join button one more time except keep the button component on this because this is going to be used to start the game. Change this to something like start or set username or something like that. And then I'm just going to rename all the UI elements that we've just created so that they make more sense in the hierarchy. And now we're going to get on to scripting our menu. So I'm going to create an empty game object and I'm going to call it menu controller. And then we're going to add a new script to menu controller and I'm going to call it menu controller. I'm going to open this script up inside Visual Studio and start typing. So to start I want to type serialized field private string version name and set that to 0.1. I'm using serialized field because it'll keep our variable private but it'll show it in the inspector. I'm going to make some more variables like private game object, username panel and private game object connect panel. 
These will be for our two username and connection menus. Next I'm going to create a private awake function and inside this I'm going to set photon network dot connect using settings to the version name that we've created. I'm going to create an on connected to master function which is already made by photon and inside I'm going to type photon network dot join lobby type lobby dot default and then I'm going to debug dot log connected just so we know our users connected to the servers. I'm also going to set using unity engine dot ui because we're going to be dealing with ui elements then I'm going to create some more serialized field variables. This one's for the input fields. I'm going to create a private input field called username input. This will be for when our player enters the username and then I'm going to copy and paste this and change it to create game input and join game input. This will be for when our player wants to actually join a game. Next inside a private start function I'm going to set our username menu to true because I want our player to enter our username as soon as he starts the game. And then I'm quickly going to head back into Unity to organize this. I'm going to create an empty game object and call this main menu canvas so that we can put all our main menu elements inside of this. Then on our menu controller I'm going to drag in our game object. So I'm going to drag our username and main menu canvas into the username and connect panels. And then I'm going to drag in our input fields to the username input and the join and create game inputs. Then I'm going to head back into the Unity script and create more variables. I'm going to create a private game object called start button and then I'm going to create a public function called change username input and this is going to be to validate that our user has actually entered a username because we wouldn't want players to have blank names. I want my usernames to be at least three characters but you can change this to what you'd like. Inside the if statement I'm going to set our start button to active and if they haven't entered three I'm going to set it to false. I'm going to create a public function called set username and this is going to be where a player sets his username and starts the game. Inside this I'm going to set our photon network dot player name equal to username input dot text. This will get whatever the player is typed in the username input field and set it as the username. Just above this I'm going to set our username panel to false and then save our script and head back into Unity. We're in our menu controller game object. I'm going to drag in our start button from the hierarchy to the inspector. On our start button I'm going to disable it because it will be enabled when our player enters a username. And then I'm going to disable our entire username panel. On our username input field, I'm going to drag in our menu controller and then I'm going to set the function to the on username changed function that we created in the script. And then on our start button, I'm going to add a new on click event and I'm going to drag in our menu controller to this again, except this time I'm going to select the set username function. Now if we hit play in our Unity scene, we'll see our username panel comes up and we can enter our username and also that our game has connected to the Photon servers. We can hit start and it'll take us to our connection panel. In the next episode, we're going to look at how to join and create a game and also start coding our player in the game. So subscribe so you don't miss the next episode coming out. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel, guys. If you'd like to support me more, I've got a Patreon and the link will be in the description to that. Bye!